Hey YouTube, what's up? Uh, I'm struggling out here today in the woods with a little indecision on how much depth of field I want in this particular photograph. So I wanted to shoot this little video to um, kind of work through my own thought process and show you how, how I'm going to go about making this photo and adjusting that depth of field uh, so that when I could get home then and look at it in a little bigger screen than just right here, I could make the de decision later on what depth of field actually works best for this photograph. Uh, the, the, the scene I'm looking at here is pretty cool. At least I think so. I'm out here just doing kind of artsy, fartsy, landscapey kind of stuff. So I've got this beautiful forest fire burned forest with uh, this wonderful grass that's all growing up around it. It's autumn, so everything's starting to turn brown, and it's really cool. And I've singled out this one tree that's right here that I like because I can see the whole trunk there. It's not obscured by grass in front of it. So this old forest fire burnt out trunk with all this beautiful golden grass around it. In my head, I feel like the right, the right depth of field here that I want is probably very shallow depth of field. But I'm not sure about that. I, I'm struggling with it because I, I'm questioning, well, maybe I want really deep depth of field to really show all the texture in that grass. And a shallow depth of field, like shooting this at f2.8, will blur a lot of that out. I'll just get a, you know, a very thin uh, section of that grass that's in focus. And then the rest of that should blur out and soften up and be really nice. And I would definitely want the tree trunk itself and all the texture of that burnt, charred burnt part of the tree to be in focus. So I'm not sure on this. I'm, I might want that grass and that golden just um, kind of layer of golden grass out there to just fall away and be soft and pretty and um, not have a lot of texture in it. But I also kind of feel like that that grass, the texture in there is so cool uh, and it's subtle because the, the light is overcast right now. So I feel like it's subtle enough um, just because of the soft light that that might be good enough. So uh, I don't know which one's going to look best and I don't think I've taken it, it whoa, I fell over. Uh, on the back of the screen here, while it's a good screen, it's just not big enough for me to really make that decision and feel comfortable with just shooting it that way. So I'm gonna take this photograph, the same photo, I'm gonna lock the exposure down and then I'm gonna take the exact same picture at the full range of my f-stop. So I'm gonna start at f2.8. This is on a 70 to 200 millimeter lens, f2.8. I'm gonna do a photo at f2.8, one at f4, 5.6, 8, 11, and 16. And I'm gonna have all those photos to just choose from when I get home and I'm gonna look at the depth of field and decide which one looks best. Now, I'm, I'm not under any delusion that this is like an excellent photograph. It caught my eye uh, because this particular trunk is not obscured by the grass around it. So I'm framing this up so that the trunk and its texture is uh, the, the kind of the focus, the centerpiece of the photo with the beautiful grass around it. And then I'm including some of the burnt out forest above it. Uh, that's just going to be some nice dark texture back there. And that is going to be, uh, the depth of field is going to affect that little top section of the photograph uh, big time depending on you know how much of the that black texture you see back there with the other burnt um, trees in the background back there. So I'm just gonna do that right now. It's, it's real quick and easy to do. Uh, and so I'm gonna just crank that out right now. I've got this set up on a tripod, aperture priority um, plus 0.7 on exposure compensation. Uh, I've checked the exposure, it, it looks great, nothing's blown out there. And so I've, I'm now, I've locked the exposure down so it can't change. And then I'm just gonna start at F16 here. I've got an exposure delay on of one second. So when I push the shutter, it waits a second and then it'll make the photo. It's on electronic shutter on the D850 so there's no shutter movement or bouncing around. And that exposure delay gives it a second from when I touch the camera, everything settles out, and then it makes the picture. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All those, so it'll be six, F16, 11, eight, 
5.6, 4, and 2.8. So it'll be six frames. Focus will stay the same on all pictures. Okay, and that's it. So it'll, it'll be that simple. And then I can go through, you know, I can look on the screen here. And I, I, I kind of feel like the, the F2.8 one is giving me maybe the, the look I want. But again, it's so hard to decide on this screen. And depth of field here is a very important part of the photograph. So um, I like the photo. This isn't like my best work uh, by any means. Or maybe it is. Who knows? Maybe I'll fall in love with it and it'll become the best picture I ever took. But probably not. Uh, but it, it does demonstrate um, a a way to get around that indecision of not knowing exactly where to set your depth of field and uh, just how to give yourself the options when you get back home. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Uh, join me here in the Tetons sometime for a private workshop or tour if you feel like it. Uh, visit my website to learn more about that, all right? Um, take care. Have a great day. See ya.